NewsNation.com. On other news, North Dakota tribal nations have been dramatically undercounted in past censuses. But this is a nationwide issue and one that is getting worse with time. This week I had the opportunity to sit down with Nicole Donaghy. She's a field organizer for a nonprofit, a North Dakota Native Vote, and now for the census. She says as the census affects funding from federal government to the states, it also affects funding for tribal nations. The lower the population count, the lower the funding, particularly for health care, which she says North Dakota tribes are in desperate need of. It also affects ed education and infrastructure. Donaghy also says this is the first high-tech census, so people can report online. But this is not super helpful on the reservations because internet coverage is sparse. And just like the rest of the state, she's also concerned concerned about the number of census work workers that'll make it to the reservations. So in response, North Dakota Native Vote has hired a field canvassers to work as educators on tribal lands to make sure as many people participate as possible come April. For any native person, and I think it's hard to answer a call for the government when things have been um, be put in a place of distrust for our people. And so I think it's hard for people to, to answer that call. And there's also a question of security and people wanting, people are hesitant of, of sharing information about their household, especially when there's multiple families per house. She says regardless, when it comes down to it, the census is a benefit for everyone, especially for getting adequate health care funding on North Dakota tribal lands. Well, with many people lighting up 